Here we have a car that is moving with a speed of 40 feet per second on 18 inch diameter wheels. We are interested in knowing the angular velocity of the wheels on the car. So let's look at first a diagram of a wheel. Let's say this circle represents the wheel that is rolling on the road. Therefore this point has zero velocity. Let's say omega is this way. And therefore center of the wheel has the same velocity of the same velocity as velocity of the car. I call it V. So if radius is half of the diameter or nine inches, we can write V equal to R omega or omega we have the velocity linear velocity and we can then calculate omega so 40 feet per second equals to radius is in inches so I want to divide by 12 to have it in foot and therefore this can be solved for omega of the wheels and this turns out to be 53.33 radians per second. Radians per second. So this is velocity of the wheels. Observe that I'm assuming um, Clockwise is positive since omega is shown clockwise. I'm assuming positive is clockwise. Therefore, I won't put a minus in front of the numerical values. Recall that in a right-handed coordinate system, counterclockwise is assumed to be positive. So in this problem, I'm choosing clockwise to be positive. Now, the second part of the problem says that if the car is in the third gear with a gear ratio of 4.89 to 1, what is the angular velocity of the engine in RPM, revolutions per minute? And the hint says the engine is the input to the gear train and the wheels are the output of the gear train. Well, if the velocity, uh, I mean, if the gear ratio is 4.89 to 1, this means that the engine is rotating that much faster, 4.89 times faster than omega of the wheels. Therefore, I'll write gear ratio, let's call it GR gear ratio to be 4.89 to 1. And that is the same as omega in over omega out. Where Omega out represents the rotational speed of the wheels. So if I plug in the numerical value, omega in or speed of the engine is going to be 4.89 times 53.33. And that turns out to be 260.8 radians per second to convert it to RPM. I should multiply by 60 seconds per minute over 2 pi radians per revolutions. So multiplying this by 60 over 2 pi gives us a rotational speed of the engine as 2490 and a half RPM. Thank you for watching.